Summary Company's ethnic Armenian official delivery of weapons has not been resolved yet talks were held after Azerbaijan regained control of Karabakh Azerbaijan agreed to send fuel and aid. Gunshots heard in Karabakh's main city Goris. Armenia. September 21 Ethnic Armenians in Nagorno-Karabakh need security guarantees before laying down their weapons. An advisor to their leaders said on Thursday. A day after Azerbaijan declared it had regained control of the breakaway region. Karabakh has accused Armenian officials of violating a ceasefire agreed on Wednesday after. Azerbaijan's blitzkrieg forced the separatists to agree to disarm. Baku's defense ministry said the claim that its forces had broken the ceasefire was completely unfounded. Two sources in Karabakh's main city told they heard heavy gunfire on Thursday morning. But it was not clear who opened fire. The S and conflicting narratives have underlined the potential for more bloodshed despite an agreement reached 24 hours earlier that Azerbaijan says re-establishes its sovereignty over Karabakh. After 35 years of conflict. We have an agreement to stop military action. But we are waiting for a final agreement talks are ongoing. David Babayan. An advisor to Samvel Sharamanian. The separatist ethnic Armenian leader of Nagorno-Karabakh. Told. To a question about giving up weapons. Babayan said that his people cannot be left to die. So security guarantees must be given first they can destroy us at any moment and engage in genocide. Azerbaijan said it had accepted the request to provide fuel and humanitarian aid to Karabakh after imposing a de facto blockade for the past nine months. Meetings took place in Yevla, Azerbaijan. Between Azerbaijan and representatives the Republic of Artsakh as the Armenians Karabakh call themselves. Azerbaijan, a mostly Muslim country, has rejected accusations of ethnic cleansing and said it wants a smooth reintegration of the region's ethnic Armenian and Christian populations. President Ilham Aliyev said on Wednesday that Armenians will fully enjoy educational, cultural and religious rights but concluded his message with harsh nationalist rhetoric. In a statement on state television, he said all ethnic groups and faiths would unite as one fist Azerbaijan. For honor. The motherland. Criminal CUNTA Karabakh is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but has enjoyed de facto independence since its wartime separation with collapse of the Soviet. Union in 1990s. Regaining control has been a big dream for Aliyev, who on Tuesday launched a blitzkrieg that quickly breached Karabakh Armenian lines. Karabakh officials said at least 200 people were killed on their side. Without specifying the number, Aliyev said that some Azerbaijanis as martyrs and some soldiers were injured. 16 A protester reacts next to law enforcement officers standing guard in front government building. During a rally to demand the resignation of Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pash.